People have been talking about this for years. We don't know where the story came from or how old it is, but it's not even a story. It's more of a rumor, a whisper. Another example of the secrets of Wawona. After the bear stories, the golf stories, the hiking to the big trees stories, all of that, sooner or later, conversation will turn to that whisper, that rumor, the chilling legend of an ancient presence in Wawona. And it has a name that has carried with it the power and mystery for 4,500 years. The Sphinx. Our Secrets of Wawona team has only questions. Is the Sphinx real? Is it still here, somewhere lost in the forest? Was it a tourist attraction, somehow connected with a hotel? Was it a colossal sculpture that eroded into an unassuming dome over the millennia? Is it somehow hidden in plain sight? The story begins for us with an old photograph discovered deep in the vaults of the Yosemite Museum and Archives, next to a crate that some think contains the Ark of the Covenant. The picture appears to be well over a century old, and while the sign on the tree is plain enough, no clue is given to its location, and no explanation for the absence of anything in the picture that looks remotely like a sphinx. Taking our cue from the famed archaeologists of Oak Island, Nova Scotia, the obvious next thing to do was to start digging. After digging this hole, we found a clue. It seems to be some sort of map. Yosemite, Wawona. Very fragile, it's falling apart in my hands. Amazing! Close examination of the map and corroboration of its details with outside sources placed the date of the map around 1912. The map gave us our first clue. River view and Sphinx. So we set out on a doubtful mission to find this so-called river view by following the map. Walking from the Wawona Hotel down to the covered bridge. turned upstream. We passed the site of the old powerhouse just below the RV cleanout station where a hundred years ago water from a source up the hill would turn a Pelton water wheel connected to a generator to supply power to the Wobona Hotel. Down the hill by the river we noted the presence of bedrock mortars. Evidence of people who were here millennia before our time. Then we approached a flat that once had a one-room schoolhouse. And beyond that, we found this daunting impediment. 
It appeared to be the location of River View. After scaling its heights, we found that there is indeed a view of the river, but it is a place to be avoided by children especially, and anybody lacking skills and discretion. Riverview turns out to be such a dangerous place with unprotected sudden drop-offs and sloping boulders covered with slippery pine needles that it's no wonder it isn't shared with the average tourist. If you must visit here, hold your children's hands and don't let them romp, for gravity is strictly enforced in places like this and any false move might be your last. So then, according to the map, this is the location, or was the location, of the fabled Sphinx. Next is to get out the old photograph and see if there's anything around that matches up. A match! We must be in the right spot, but where's the Sphinx? That's it? That's it?